Needing some good gear so you can slay behemoths in ease? Well then you're in the right place. Hi there, I'm Renko, and I'm not gonna lie, you're looking kinda sus. Hi there, I'm Rain, and today I'm gonna be helping you craft the right things for your slaying needs. After you've just slayed your first few behemoths and walk up to Moira Hi- Moira Hig- Moira Hedge? Hmm. Once you've approached Moira High Skittles, you might be thinking to yourself, what the f You might be wondering what to do next. And well, as a brand new slayer, you won't have too many choices. And might just want to stick with one or two sets of armor. So in that case, some good armor when starting off is... Nasher armor, Charog armor, Embermain armor, Jurassic armor, and sometimes Boreas armor comes in handy too. And you might be asking yourself, why these armor sets? And well, that's because of the cell slots, the perks, and because they come from behemoths that are fairly easy to unlock in the early game. As a new slayer, you might just stick to the one or two sets of armor. But later on in the game, mixing armor is definitely a good option. As mixing up armor allows for some better cell economy and overall better perks. Some pieces of armor that I recommend crafting and leveling are... Nasher's gloves, Charog's pants, Hellion's helmet, Koshai's chest piece and pants, Shroud's helmet and chest piece, and of course, Malcarion's gloves, Torgadoro's gloves, and Thrax's chest piece and pants. And yes, I know, that's a lot. But keep in mind that these are just recommendations of good armor used a lot further in the game. And no, you don't have to craft all of them, they're just good to remember. Well, now that you're probably stressing about the list I just gave you, let's go over to Will's Borman and take a look at some weapons. The weapons you play as a noob slayer or marching your way to endgame doesn't really matter, but instead, looking at the perks, cell slots, and element will help you make some spicy damage choices. Some good elements when first starting out would be Embermane, Boreas, Jurassic, and I guess we could throw Nasher in there too. Most of these weapons are fairly easy to craft and can get you through almost every hunt. As for later in the game, some good weapons might be Hellion, Torgadoro, Thrax, Riftstalker, Valkyrion, and Rezakiri. The reason why you might choose some of these weapons over some others, such as Scrave's weapons, is because of, again, perks and cell slots, but also because of the unique effects. A unique effect is an effect built into most weapons, allowing for some more damage, teleporting, and to become the Beyblade Master. Wait, what? Well, Slayers, hopefully this video can help you slay your way through the Shattered Isles. And with that being said, I think this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Peace.